everybody. Welcome back to STEM Power. Today we are going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. And today for this, you are going to need some strawberries, uh, some isopropyl alcohol, a funnel, a few cups, and then some measuring equipment. And then we're also going to be making a buffer and that is going to consist of dish soap, salt, and water. And before trying this experiment, remember to ask your parents at home for permission. So the way this works is that our buffer solution breaks down the cell membrane of the strawberry which allows us to extract the DNA into this tub. Alright, so to make the DNA extraction buffer, you'll need 50 mils of dish soap, 450 milliliters of water, which is about two cups, and one teaspoon of table salt. Okay, so what we're first going to do is grab two strawberries. We're going to remove the stems. And we're going to put them in a Ziploc bag. And then this is going to be the fun part. We're going to smush them until you can't even tell they're strawberries. That's like getting there, yep. <laughs> Got to smash it all up because we want to get this DNA out of here. <laughs> Okay, then you're gonna get 10 milliliters of this buffer and put it into the bag. And then you can squish it around. Okay, so now we're gonna filter our strawberry extract and collect the DNA. Next, you will remove the funnel. See, look at all those nice little strawberry grossness. You're not using that anymore. We want the liquid. So next, you will take eight to nine mils of ice cold isopropyl alcohol. So I have it right here to make it a little easier. And once you have eight to nine mils, don't want to shoot it directly into the liquid. So you want to let it drain down the side of, oh maybe, of your cup. So once you put in the isopropyl alcohol, you should see two separate layers. And that's the important part of letting it drip down the side of the glass instead of pouring the alcohol straight in. So you should see this white fluffy layer and that is what we'll talk about in the next step. <laughs> Once you see the white stringy stuff in the cup, you're gonna take a toothpick or any type of stirrer and collect it in the cup. It should attach onto your stirrer and that is DNA. had fun extracting DNA from strawberries. Be sure to tune in two Mondays from now for the next STEM Power video. Be sure to send pictures of your extracted DNA to stempower75 at gmail.com. There will be a worksheet to go along with this experiment in the description box down below. See you guys next time.